Hey there, we're Bo and Brandy, just a couple that decided three years ago to set off from Florida and sail as long and as far as we could on our little electric sailboat surf shop. For the last couple of months, you could have found us here, in Carousel, working on our boat. Last week, we got back in the water, shanghaied a dog, and sailed off to this tiny little island of Klein Carousel for our first sail in over seven weeks. The sail was a trial run to test out all the work we did. I can't tell. Before we set off on our next long sail across the sea. This morning, we're going to explore the island, tell you where we're headed to next, where we are going to. And finally, after all that work, we deserve this. Stay tuned, especially if you love the sound of the ocean. Good morning. <laughs> we kind of lost you last night. <laughs> I found Bo asleep in the cockpit with Benji. Quite the the sail. <laughs> I've just been exhausted this past. Uh, feels like ever since we got social hauled out, it's just been go go go. Even this morning, I am. I did not want to get out of bed. Um, I haven't had coffee yet, so I've been a little grumpy. But we wanted to get out early, walk Benji and check out the lighthouse. In 1849, the Prince Heinrich Lighthouse was built, but in 1877, the last hurricane to hit Carousel completely destroyed it. In 1913, the 22-meter high coral pink tower was rebuilt again, and today it stands abandoned, but functioning in the middle of the island. And there's this really cool wreck over here. We just wanted to get a quick little peek of the island since we sailed all the way over here, and then we're gonna be sailing back today. It was good to do that shakedown cruise because... Call it shakedown cruise or sail. Yeah. It was good to do that shake, shake... It was good to do that shakedown sail because we found some issues. All right, what's happening? We've lost steerage. Yeah, our key fell out that holds the shaft to the quadrant. So it's always good to test everything out that you worked on. With shakedown sails, we really try to do those, especially if we've already done something to the boat, uh, fix something, but we also like to do a little short sail before we go on a big sail. Speaking of, <laughs> we are about to do a big sail. Yep. And we have been telling everybody that we are gonna be heading west, and that was the originally the whole plan. But, but plans change. Just like they say in the sailing world, your plans are like, Riding in the sand above the water. What is? How's it go? <laughs> Riding. Plan. Riding plans at low tide in the sand. Yeah. So they don't really exist. And now you're wondering maybe where we are going to. <laughs> we're going back to the USVIs for a couple reasons. One, we're going to do some more refitting on the boat. Two, Bo has got an opportunity to work with some guys there, make some extra money to fill up the kitty that we just spent pretty much all of it on for the boat. And we're also gonna try to get Benji to back to the US. Right, Benji? So the shakedown sail was a lot for the sailboat, but also to see how Benji was gonna like being on the boat. I think he did pretty well. <laughs> yeah, he just slept the whole time. Yeah. He was a little stressed in the beginning. I think he's just not used to it. Yeah. But I thought he did really well. He wasn't really pacing. He ate, he drank underway. So I think it was a really good sail for him. And being at night, so we kind of cool. had, it was cool. We were pointing into it, so it's probably the roughest sail we we're gonna have. So it gave us an opportunity to kind of see how he was gonna react. 
because we'll have to make other arrangements for him. We just didn't want to leave him in the boatyard. But we're coming up on to this really cool shipwreck. And we're actually here with Steve and Denise there on their boat. And uh, they were telling us back in the day when they were kids, they would come out on this boat and you could actually see the utensils, ketchup packages and things. Jeez. And it, you can just see by, I don't know, maybe 20 years or so, how much this has been eaten away by the ocean. Even with the lighthouse, many ships are on Klein Carousel because of the very strong currents and unforgiving northeast winds. This combination of winds and current, which we have personally felt, makes it very difficult for the best of captains to steer their ship around the island. The most famous ship rusting away on shore is the Maria Bianca Guidesman, an oil tanker that ran aground in 1988. My men. What's that? <laughs> my men. My boys. It's so weird to say that because Una was a girl. I've never had a boy dog. Not that we have him. Well, that concludes our very short tour of Klein Carousel. <laughs> little, little cute little island out here. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of the Bahamas. Yeah, the water is crystal clear. And the island is just so flat and very corally. So last night when we were coming in, we noticed that the depth sounder wasn't working. Well, I didn't have it hooked up yet. <laughs> so he tried to hook it up and it didn't work. So we got to go back and fix that. We also need to prep the boat and get her ready for sailing today and have coffee. Yeah, definitely need <laughs> coffee. <laughs> oh, that sail was pretty exhausting, but it was pretty fun. It was good, it was a good sail. Today, we're gonna test out the Mac Daddy. <laughs> All right, the reality of what it looks like once the boats start rolling in, this happens about at nine o'clock in the morning. So I think it's time for us to depart. These power boats were right over our really closer anchor, so Bo just dove in and lifted up our anchor so we can just drag it out of here. It's just sand and rock, so it shouldn't be too hard. <laughs> Hopefully. Big boy is deployed and there's a pot of dolphins. Oh yeah! What a day! It is the perfect day to fly the Mac Daddy because uh, it's really light and we are we're doing like three three knots average, which is really good for I think it's maybe eight knots of wind. It's really good for us at least. I wish we had this sail when we were sailing through the Windward Passage way back when. We're just sitting around here bobbing and weaving here because there is zero wind. We're going 1.5 knots. This would have been perfect. It's super comfortable. The sea state's very calm. It's so calm, Brandy and Benji are just chilling up on the foredeck. Appalachian sunrise meets my
much drag do you think this dinghy is causing? Probably at least half a knot. How, how fast are we going? We just got a gust, so... I don't know, we're going anywhere between three and a half to four and a half. Especially with the gusts, we're going a lot faster. So we're currently on the lookout for a whisker pole or a spinnaker pole or both. It would be nice when we are more on a downwind tack to be able to have a whisker pole to hold this huge sail out so it doesn't go flopping around. Because I find that most of the time when we're doing downwind, we don't really have following seas. So we usually get a little bit of it on our broadside. So it tends to just like that. A couple of weeks ago, we had Kevin come and visit here in Curacao on a cruise. And he met up with one of our friends, Tim, who graciously gave us his spinnaker. What you got there? Wampum, our new spinnaker. <laughs> So now we're on a hunt for a spinnaker pole and thank goodness we got this amazing 180 sail from Anne. So if we have a whisker pole and a spinnaker pole, we will have, we will be set. <laughs> we will be set for sailing. I don't, what else will we need? I don't think our boat needs a code zero. I don't know. No. So I kind of like the hang on. I think we'll yeah. keep it. We're just super, super grateful that our boat just continues to be I don't, just a patchwork of gifts of people who are watching our channel or friends or people who have become friends. So we just want to say thank you guys once again for all of your amazing support and help. We just couldn't, we, do, it without we couldn't you. do it without you. <laughs> it's just, just so amazing to have such awesome people in our lives. <laughs> Might be slow, but it is pretty. I'm okay with this pace. <laughs> Always. Right. we made it in safe and sound 
didn't film any of that after dark because it is pretty busy getting back in here, especially on a Sunday. We've done it more than once, so we felt confident on coming in at night. And we have friends here, so we knew that there was a spot available for us. So Bo is outside battening down to the hatches. And then um, as soon as he's done, we're going to take Benji to the beach. And now all we have to do is get everything ready for us to have our really long sail back up to the USBIs. So we'll be working on that for the next week and a half or so and praying for a south wind. That would be fabulous. <laughs> it would be nice to have a pull, a whisker pull to hold out this sail. So when we're going more, oof, sun. It's bright. Yeah, it's really bright. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Creeper. Thanks for watching. If you liked that episode, give us a thumbs up. And recently we've heard folks being unsubscribed to the channel. So be sure to check to see if you're subscribed. And if not, hit the button.